UPS is preparing to operate without the Teamsters. The shipping giant's beginning what it calls business continuity training with its non-union employees as a new union contract has not been reached yet. UPS says it has a responsibility to its customers to try to keep shipments moving even without 330,000 union workers who normally sort packages and drive delivery trucks. Let's bring in our business guru, Chris Otz, on this. Chris, the fact that UPS is preparing its corporate employees to do these hourly jobs, does that signal that a strike here now is inevitable? Well, to hear UPS tell it, no, it does not. They say that this is just something that they need to do to be responsible, that they have a, a responsibility okay. to their customers to keep things moving if the worst comes to pass, but that they are still hoping to reach an agreement with the Teamsters. Now, look at what the Teamsters are doing. Their president is on the road in New Jersey and other places talking with rank and file. The number two person who used to lead the local here is going to be in Louisville on Tuesday. They're not in D.C. where the negotiations are happening. So it seems like this freeze is going to go on for some time. And we have we're seeing practice pickets occurring right. as well. Uh, so the last time the Teamsters went on strike was back in 1997. Is there anything that we have have learned from that situation that we may see now in 2023 if a strike does happen? Right. Well, at that time, they handled less volatility than they do today but uh, some of the experts I've been talking to say yeah expect them to have managers sorting packages trying to drive trucks I even talked with one former UPS executive who's now a supply chain uh, expert uh, at a university in Tennessee he remembers having to do that back in 1997 and here's what he said I was at UPS during there and I was one of the managers that you know, had to go out into the operation and, you know, try to help out as, as, as best we can. And, and, you know, those contingency plans are certainly happening now, but you cannot make up for 300,000 uh, Teamsters. And the market is only going to be able to absorb about 30%, let's say, of, of UPS uh, volume. And so um, it will hurt the market. But let me tell you, Gil, I've also talked with uh, some drivers who were around back then, and they really enjoyed the sight of seeing managers trying to do their jobs. And so if that does come to pass, they may relish it. Yeah, but not enough managers to do hourly employees' right. jobs no, by de far. definitely right. not. They would have to be triaging. All right, Chris Otz, thank you for your reporting. We'll look for your latest article right now on WDRB.com.